went into forced labor. Same day you left. And she died after delivering her baby. Oh my God. And the baby? She is the product of that union. What? <laughs> it all makes sense now, right? Where else would Yodi have taken her to if not her father's house? What do you mean? Yodi, the mother goddess, brought her to your doorstep. Indeed, the ways of the gods are not the ways of man. Oge grew up in her father's house through a mysterious arrangement. I knew it. I knew it. From the very first day this girl set her foot in the house. I knew she was an evil child. And now she has polluted my children. Shut up, man, before I make you. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. My beautiful children. Come back home with daddy. You don't belong here. We are not going anywhere. This is where we belong. It's either you join us or you leave us. You make them right. Now we leave.
It's obviously a dream. No, Mom. It felt so real. It's no longer what you felt right now. Look around you. You are obviously scaring your younger ones and it's not funny anymore. Mom? Honey, take it easy on her. Get me my anointing oil. Oh. Let me lead you to your room, please. I won't go to bed. Good night. Sweetie. Yes, Dad. You'll be fine. Scared. Me too. Scared of what? Do you think you are still babies? What are you scared of? Mommy, please. Go to sleep. You are children of God. Children of God ought not to be scared of anything. Remember, He has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sound mind. Also remember that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Exactly. So will you sleep? Good night. Good night. Good night. Dad, please don't leave me all alone. Please stay. Come on, sweetie. You don't need to be afraid. Hmm? Sleep. Please, Dad, stay with me. What? I will stay with you. But try and catch some sleep. We have to do something about that girl. That girl is our daughter. I didn't say otherwise. All I am saying is that we should not fold our hands and allow things get out of hands. There is nothing wrong with her. I'm sure that you will not believe me. 
But all I'm saying is that considering honey, the circumstances. Honey, honey, I am an anointed man of God. If there's anything wrong with her, I will know. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. Anointed man of God. Good night. It's morning already. Oh, really? Please don't blame me if I don't know the difference. I have been awake taking care of our troubled daughter. Stella. <sighs> Mary group and matter group. Wow. We're going to have a drama section. We're going to prepare word of God. Who is going to take us in word of God? Sister Sassi. Sister Sassi. Oh, Sister Sassi. Hallelujah. 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 This is my list several times on Sunday. But this, having to wait for hours after service has ended. I mean, after spending several boring hours inside the church, one would expect to go home immediately. But no. Would have to wait for Pastor and Pastor Miss Okori. Why they are busy with only God knows what. Wait, are you saying that that these messages are boring? No, I didn't. Sister Oge, did you hear me say anything like that? Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What I said is that we spent too much time in church, and instead of us heading home like every other Roman woman did, would have to wait extra hours. Maybe we are not like other Roman beings. After all, we are pastors too. And what makes us different from everyone else? A lot. Her bed. Look how mom is gossiping with those ladies. She's not gossiping. She's the mother of the church. And it's no man that she attends to people that want to see her. And dad? He's the pastor of the church. You don't expect him to zoom off when there is a lot of people that need prayer. Then those people are selfish. What? Chris. I have I set you free in Jesus' name. Amen. You are free indeed. Amen. Amen. It is done, Brother Odio. Thank you, sir. You may take your leave now. Okay. Um, Brother Odio, yeah. tell the secretary that any other person waiting for me should come back tomorrow. Okay, I'm done for today. All right. I'll give you a call, sir. Okay. I told, I told the secretary not to allow any other person. And Pastor, please, um, it's very urgent and I promise I won't take much of your time. It's all right. Have your seat. Thank you, Pastor. Um, so, what's your name? My name is Isabella, sir. Isabella. I, I have not been seeing this face in this church. Or oh, are you new in this church? Not really, Pastor. Shows that I have not been attending frequently. And why is that? Because I have some pressing issues. Uh, what issues? That's why I'm here. Um. Okay. What for? See for yourself. Jesus Christ! Who are you? Your nemesis. Uh. 
Where is she? I mean, the lady that just left my office a while ago. Sadi, last person that left your office was Brother Audio. He told me you said I should ask the rest to come back tomorrow. Hmm? Yes, sir. Is there any problem, sir? Sir. Please, don't let Daddy hear you. Or any other church member for that matter. What you are saying is tantamount to blasphemy. Blasphemy against him. I didn't speak against God though. I love him and he even understands my complaint. Just be careful of what comes out of your mouth. We are pastor's children and we need to live by example. Exactly the problem. We are required to live according to how people expect us to live. And not how we want to live. We need deliverance. We all do. Not me do. I'm the apple of God's eyes. Apple of God's eyes. Sister Oge. Sister Oge. Sister Oge. Sister Oge. Oh. Where did your mind go to? That lady is so beautiful. Which lady? The lady that just passed. Many ladies have passed here, and none of them strikes me to be beautiful. With their Miriam Maker skirt and her hair. Grace. But it's the truth now. You mean, you didn't see any lady that passed here? I didn't see any beautiful lady. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what I call true beauty. Who? Chike, how can a boy be beautiful? I don't know. I don't think the term handsome does him any justice. Hmm. I don't know pastor children are supposed to have a crush. I don't know what you are talking about. Look, daddy. Ah, oh, God. Finally, we can go home. Is he okay? As mothers, we have to prepare something for the children wow. yes. on that very day. So we'll do a little contribution. Yes. So who will take up that one? Okay, um, let us continue this discussion next tomorrow. Okay, so you go home. Thank you, Thank you, Thank I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just trying to arrange things out. We can go. Okay. I'm sure the girls must have been tired of waiting. So oh, I'll be with you now. Mm. All right. Honey, are you sure you're okay? Honey, I said I'm fine. Um. Okay. All right. I'll be joining you now. Oh, 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. So you are you alright? Why are you saying me like someone that just saw a ghost? What happened to her? He tripped on his stone. A big toe nail pulled out. You should have seen the amount of blood that was gushing out of the injury. She must be in a very serious pain. That must have been a hell of trip for her to have sustained such an injury. Language. There are. Sorry, it was just a slip of the tongue. Well, maybe you need to bridle your tongue and ask God to sanctify it. It's carnally minded people that normally use this language. So, alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you okay? Are you sure you are okay? Precious God, thank you, Jesus. Okay, go into the house, change, and come and meet me in the kitchen. Hurry up. Don't waste my time. Hey, thank you, Jesus, for today. What do you say? What is the matter, honey? There is no problem, honey. No. You're not fine. Look at you. You seem lost and absent-minded. What's the problem? Trust me, honey. There is nothing to worry about. When did we start keeping secrets from each other? Honey, there was no secret in the first place. Okay. If you say so. Let me hurry and freshen up. And then prepare your lunch. Alright, honey. Oh. Mm. oh thank you. Did I? Oh, come off it. Okay. It's just a coincidence. No, no, it wasn't. Serious 
sister, you scared us. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Don't be sorry, please. Tell us exactly what happened in there. Okay. You mean you can't remember what happened? <laughs> well, two things are playing out here. It's either you're trying to be evasive or you're playing with us. Why are you doing all this? Okay, I'm asking you. Is it for attention or what? Oh, my honey, honey, it's, it's all right. Just, just let her be. It's okay. Honey? Just let her be. Look at you. I'm fine. Thank hmm. you. Uh, how is everybody? Ah ah. Oh. Ah. Look at you. You guys are all grown up. This is such a surprise. <laughs> yes. How are you doing? I'm fine. Ah, ah. Oh, my darling. Ah. You don't mean it. Can you imagine? Ah ah. Hey. Hey. Come here, come here, come here! Oh my god! Eh? Ha! What, is, what are you eating? And who do we have here? Ah, oh, sister. You came. Sister. Ah, you came earlier than expected. I thought you said your flight was in the afternoon. Um, yes, sister. I just decided to surprise you guys. You and your surprises. <laughs> Anyways, you're welcome. Uh, thank you, sister. You're welcome. You look thank good. You. Uh, thank you, sister. <laughs> Dada. Yes, well. Mm. Show him to his room. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take the bag, also. Uh, sister, uh, what about the uh, pastor? Well, business as usual. He went for a meeting. <laughs> um, please, what are you giving these kids? Look at them. They are all grown up. Especially Oge. Okay. <laughs> Oge. Okay. 
<laughs> Simply balance diet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sister. <laughs> Thank you, sister. <laughs> Jesus! So is everything alright? Who came into my office? No one, sir. What do you mean by no one? The who drop? What, sir? Never mind. The blood of Jesus sets me free. I'm singing, singing. The blood of Jesus sets me free. Have you been standing there? Uh, just now. Eh. Okay. Is there anything you want to take? Uh, no, I just wanted to get water from the fridge. Okay. Your food will be ready soon. Okay, no problem. Take your time, eh? Who is this lady? What does she mean by my nemesis? What kind of game is this? What does she want from me? How did she get hold of this picture? Hello, honey. Hello, darling. How is it going? Great so far. All right. I called to tell you that my brother is here. He came. I thought he said he would not be coming till in the afternoon. That's what I thought, too. In fact, that's what we discussed yesterday he called me on phone. But you know how my brother can be? Hmm. Well, he said he wanted to come to the office to see you. So I call to know if it is okay by you. I have a lot on my table. Tell him to take a rest. I'll see him when I get home. Okay then. Take it easy with you, okay? Bye. Let's come in. Sir, the college is here to see you. Bring him. Okay, sir. Wow, it looks nice and it smells good. Okay, I know I will enjoy it. Oh, I smells house. I need to pray. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for this food. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> I know I'm going to like it. Did 
Do you like it? Mm, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the winch in the kitchen. Witch? Witch? Chris! Mom, it's just a manner of speaking. Oh no. Not in this house again. Okay? Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. I'm sorry. Well, Sister Oge isn't the only one who knows how to cook. Mom taught us as well. Really? Yes. Wow. So you can cook? Yes. Mm -hmm. Me too. Even you? Mom and Dad takes Proverbs 22 verses too serious. I see. Who cares you allow your uncle eat in peace? Ah! Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. So, Uncle, enjoy your food. <clears throat> I'm already enjoying it. Hmm? Thank okay. you. Okay, let's go. Hmm? Don't be so good to Okay. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I had such a lovely meal like this. <laughs> when you refused to get married. Sister, there you go again. Eh? I will get married when the right time comes. And what will be the right time? When you are all wrinkled? Or when you are undesirable? You are 35 years. You are no more a bum boy. So get yourself a wife. Sister, it's you and Pastor that is always preaching that God's time is the best. Hey, I'm waiting for God's time. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. So that is the only scripture you know. Eh? So you don't know the scripture that says, He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Ah, uh -uh, sister, that is not what I meant now. Eh? In fact, right now I am ready for marriage. And I want God to bless me with a good wife. Amen. God, please, I want you to bless me with someone like Oge. A very good cook like Oge. Oge. And you forgot that someone told her that skill. <laughs> you know, an apple fruit does not fall far away from its tree. All glory goes to you now. Better. <laughs> I can see you really enjoyed your food. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> nice In fact, one. Oge is wonderful. She's really a good cook. Really? Yes, sister. <laughs> that one, that's the only thing she knows how to do. What? I, I, I did not say anything, sister. Oh, look at my girls. So, <laughs> my girls. <laughs> so, okay. how long are you staying? See, Uncle Kem is here to spend time with you girls, okay? Yay. So I'm gonna spend time. No leave, no transfer. I am here. Ah, okay. How are you? Fine. Uh, see what I'm thinking. Eh? Um, in the evening, maybe we'll go out, we'll stroll together. So you take me around the places. You know, it's been long. I just want to look around. And what is that supposed to mean? Uh, uh, no, nothing, sister. Just that it's been a while, sister. Like three, four years now. I just, just want to go around and see things. Nothing has changed. I bet you everything is still the same. Uh, no problem, sister. But I want to still see things for myself. Huh? Oh, let me just go and see things for myself. It came, nothing has changed. I know. Uh, let me see for myself, sister. It's not a big deal. Mm. Uh, so, okay, w what do you think? Um... I would have really loved to, but I have choir as about 4 p.m. Maybe some other time. Don't worry, Uncle Kim. There and I are more than willing to take you around. That if the queen will permit her little princess, go get some fresh air. What's that? What is it? Uh, it's okay, sister. <laughs> you know what? Deal, girl. Deal, Deal right? Yes. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> wow. Crickets. <laughs> Lovely kids. Sister Doris, you have to take the soprano. Yes, Sister Confidence, please assist her. Um, Sister Oge, you give us hot This is a problem. Sister, so much. Then for the guys, you know what to do with the bars. You give me the bars. 
Uh, so I'll start with the, the song. It's a very popular song. You know it. You understand? So when I start, I'll throw it to you. Then I'll throw it back at you. Okay? It goes like this. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. God. You know this song very well, okay? Let's go. One, two, three. Go. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Now, take it down to the bars. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Mr. Oki. Hi. Hi, Bachike. Um, hope you enjoyed the rehearsals. Yes, I did. Good. You know you'll be backing me up. So I need you to master your parts. Okay, I will. All right, um, let me take my leave, okay? Mm -hmm. I know you're waiting for your dad. Um, Ratiki, um, next week is my birthday party and we are having a kind of get-together party with family and friends. I don't know if you mind joining us. Oh, no, of course. I'll come. Okay? Oh, yeah, I'll come. So when is the date? Next week, Thursday. Next week, Thursday. Um, yeah, I'm free. I'm free. Okay, I'll come. Okay? Meanwhile, happy birthday in advance. <laughs> Please take care of yourself, okay? Prepare my cake cook, because I'm eating a lot of cake. Okay. Yes, Dad. Who are you waving at? The, that beautiful lady. Which lady? The beautiful lady I saw at the church the other day. It's like she's a new member in our church. Okay, there's no lady there. What are you saying? Oh, there is. Um, maybe she stopped the taxi. Dad. Why are you pulling over? Your mom was right. Nothing has really changed. Everything is just the same. Just like I came last time. Nothing has changed. Let's go back home. Ah, uh, but we just left home. Yeah, hey, but there's nothing interesting to watch now. Uncle Kim, please don't go back home. We don't get to do this often. You mean leaving the house? Yes. Our routine has been from house to the church and back to the church. Honestly, it really feels like prison. Uh, why would you say a thing like that? Eh? See, everybody out there will be lucky to have your mom and dad as their parents. I know, but that's not enough. Isn't it wrong letting us go out and make some friends outside the church? They are protecting you. Protecting me? I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> See, you are still a child to them. Andy, I was thinking that you understand me. Of course I do. See, you know what? Someday you will be grateful to the type of parents God gave you. Maybe if you have gotten admission immediately after you finish secondary school, you wouldn't have been complaining. Look at Sister Oge. She is now in her third year and she's come home during holidays. As for me, I will stay one more year in that house. I now get admission and I will leave. Go on and mock me. Is it my fault that I haven't gotten admission? Whose fault is it? If you have studied well, you have passed jump. I will slap this girl. Am I your maid that you be chopping your mouth like parrot? 
See, enough, girl. It's enough. What if I fail jump? Am I the only one to have failed jump? Besides, two of my friends that scored lower mark than I did, they are in their first year. Their parents work their admission. But dad can never do that. He only says it's a sin. Ehena, it's a sin. We're supposed to lead by good example and not the other way around. See, see, see. E enough, girls. It's like you want us to go back home, right? No, sorry. Just tell her to mind how she's talking to me. I'm not your mate, though. Uh, you heard her, right? She's not your mate. Better respect her. Uh -uh. Sorry, you. Little sailor. Why are you calling me? She said sorry now. Won't you answer? Uh, you want to fight her? Eh? We'll go back home. Oh. Okay. Ever since you were born, I have loved you as a father should love a daughter. And I promise to keep loving you till I break my last. I know this, Dad. Okay. God put I and your mother as your daddy. But you keep keeping us in the dark. Keeping you in the dark? What do you mean? I don't know. You tell me. I promise you, Dad. I can't keep anything from you. Tongues are wagging. People are whispering. I'm confused. What is going on? There is nothing wrong with me if that's what you want. So how do you explain the invisible lady? She was not invisible. She was right there. So how come you're the only one who saw her? So that you also think I'm possessed. Uh, come on, okay. That is not what I'm trying to say. But... Dad, you are the pastor here. If there's anything wrong with me, you should know. Calm down. Who are you? How did you get into this house? What do you want from me? Too many questions. Which do I answer first? <coughs> no one can hear you. So come down and listen to me. Here. I, 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 Another nightmare? Yes. It's fine. You can come and join us. Lie down. sleep in your room, did you? No. He came. How far now? Pastor. How are you? Fine, fine. It's like you're already on your way to the yes, office. Yes, I'm going to the office. Okay. I'm sorry for yesterday. I couldn't ask you how long you're staying. So, how long are you staying with us? Um, Pastor, actually the training I came for is um, it's, it's for three weeks. Mm -hmm. So I will spend one week with you people here. 
Then the remaining two weeks, I will look for a very cheap hotel and stay. Hotel? Yes. What are you saying? Come on, this is your family house. You are free to stay as much as you want. What are you saying? To stay in a hotel when I have this big house? <laughs> you must be joking. Again. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let me... Now? Yes, Can't it wait till when I'm back from the office? No, it's urgent. Urgent. So what is it? I go ahead. Uh, you are right. There is something wrong with me. Last night, I, I... You want to tell them about last night's encounter? Okay. You dare not. Okay. 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 Okay, what is it? Okay. Okay, what is it? Okay. Thank God you are awake. What happened? You came to me that you have something to tell me. But all of a sudden, you passed out. You mean you don't remember anything at all? You can't remember anything. I said it. Honey, this girl needs deliverance. I am telling you, this oh, is not a joke any longer. Honey, honey, honey. No, 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 no. Don't honey me. Don't honey me this time around. There's nothing you can say now. This has gotten too much. Organity, I've gotten it up to here. Eh? What is it? Uh, um, sister, sister, I think what she needs right now is medical attention. What kind of medical attention are you talking about? <sighs> well, my brother, I understand that you are not grounded with the things of the spirit. Well, I give it to you. I know. I, I mean, I understand. What kind of girl screams at night while sleeping, putting everyone on edge? What kind of girl is that? The kind that has a terrible nightmare. Come on, mom. Everything was not the spirit all the time. One more word from your mouth. Eh? I will not between me and you. Who is mother in this house? Frank. Frank. That brother sacked him. I can so to in the name of Jesus, Amen. He who the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. Mm. I have a decree that you, <laughs> you are free from every powers of principalities. You are placed above the heavenly place. And therefore, no principalities shall come near you. Amen. You are now a new creature. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I set you free and lose you from every power of the enemy. They shall never come near you again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are now a new creature. Yes. Old things have passed away. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. You are free. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. There is only one person that is in the possession of this picture. Who is that lady? What does she want? How did she get possession of this picture? Could she be a relative? No. How many more copies of these pictures does she have? 
What does she intend to do with them? Holy Spirit of God, I need an answer to this mystery. Sorry. You should have knocked. Yeah, my bad. I, I just wanted to check if you're okay. I'm fine. Uncle? Uncle? Uh, okay. I, I can see you alright. Sorry, I just have to. I'm sorry. Mom would think we are possessed and needed the deliverance. You want to blame her for the strange things happening to you? What strange things? The nightmares. Very natural. Most people have nightmares, and it has nothing to do with demons. The other day in church, I saw a beautiful lady and I waved at her. Why you guys didn't see her? Probably because many ladies walked past us. What about the other day when I was coming back from church with Dad? I saw the same lady in the same outfit. She moved at me and I waved back. But Dad was surprised because he didn't see her. Hmm. Now that's creepy. No, it's not. Dad obviously didn't see her because his attention was fixed on the road. I beg, there's nothing like being possessed. Hmm, there is. Uh... Not everything has a logical explanation. Well, if there is, I don't mind being possessed. Grace! What? Look at the way that is dealt on you. It's almost as if you wear some sort of power over them. Now I'm convinced you are crazy. Don't mind her. The way you talk sometimes, eh, I wonder if truly you're a pastor's daughter. Even if you want to be possessed, you should be by the Holy One. Now you sound like mom. Enough of this spirit talk, please. Studying? Yes. <clears throat> I see. Do you remember back in the days I've always wanted to be a pastor? How can I possibly forget that? You were so zealous and on fire. <laughs> I wonder what changed now. Uh, let's just say as we grow older, new experiences shape and redefine our fate. Mm. Well, no matter what you do, always embrace the love of God. Oh, sure. Sure, sister. You love her, right? I mean, okay. <laughs> I love all my children. Yes, I know you love all your children, no doubt. Do I perceive sarcasm? Oh, oh, no, sister, not at all. Though we do not receive the same treatment as Jesus, yet we are called children of God.
Wow. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Has that already? Uh, not yet, but um, your mother just spoke with him on the phone right now. He said he will be on his way soon. Okay. <laughs> he won't. Once again, happy birthday. Thank Isn't he? Did he tell you he was coming? Yes. Well, he has to come. My sister is in love. Can you stop talking trash? It's written in over you. Then you need to have your eyes checked. on time. I am glad you could make it. Please come in. <laughs> okay. Um, it's your mom. Please come. Hope you don't mind. No. Hi, Doggy. Okay. 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 We have yet. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. I guess you're better. My dear, good. I'll be there. Yes, my lady.
is it now? I know you're waiting for your father to cut the cake. But you're going to cut the cake without your father. So these people can go, you can't keep them waiting. Just a few more minutes, Mom. I'm sure he's already on his way. Look, I just got off the phone with him. He said we should carry on without him because he is not disposed at this moment. But he will make it up to you, okay? Why that look? Come off it, girl. Hey? After all, it's your father that made sure that this get together took place today. So you shouldn't repay him back with your grumpy attitude. Come off it. Okay? I'm sorry, Mom. It's okay. You better be here. Eh? So, go and cut your cake. of what he did that day. I'm asking you, or have you suddenly gone deaf and dumb? I am not deaf. You are the one that shouts as if I am not here and it's only deaf people that behave like that. Okay. You called me deaf. I didn't say anything. I just said, Oh, <laughs> 
It's okay, sister. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy. Let me, Let me show her the stuff I made of. Oh, okay. Opened her dirty as thinking mouth to call me deaf, eh? Oh, she doesn't know me. She think I'm one of those mothers that let their children ride on them, right? I am not. I will show her that the demon in her is of no match with my own demon. Eh? I will call Frank right away. Where is my phone? It's okay, sister. Let's just go down. Where is my phone? It's down. It's downstairs, sister. It's okay. <laughs> no, she's just a child. Take it easy. Take yeah, it easy on her. Eh? I will give it to her in this house. Now I believe she's possessed. Shut up. Did you not say how she just spoke to mom? The sister Oge that I know would never talk to anybody like that. Let alone her own parents. And which normal human being would destroy their own birthday celebration like how she just did? She was upset. About what? Trust me, it's an awkward feeling when the person you're crushing on isn't interested in you. I saw the way she was looking at him, trying to get his attention, and he was busy floricking with that ugly girl. What are you talking about? You're still a child. I don't expect you to understand. I understand perfectly. I just want to know who she was crushing on. Chiki. She invited him, and the fool brought it somewhere along with him. So does that give her the right to behave like how she just did? Wait though, are you justifying her actions? No, I'm just trying to let you understand that there is an indeed a logical explanation for everything. People do crazy things when they are upset, coupled with the fact that daddy wasn't present as he promised. But you know that anger is an evil spirit, right? Can you just shut up, Shidera? From me. No one lays hand on the chosen one and goes cut free. She has to pay.
What have you done to my mom? I did nothing to her. It was all your doings. Liar. You remember the incident in the church? You were so angry with the young lady. You made her trip on a stone, causing her toe nails to pull off as a punishment for her. I didn't do anything. She wasn't looking and she tripped. That is what you want to believe. You know the truth. Anything you wish for comes to pass. That does not happen in the natural world. Just leave me alone. Stay away from me and make sure nothing happens to my mom. I know you are confused. But very soon, everything will become clearer to you. Everything that has happened was preparing you for a greater assignment. What assignment? I have watched you since you were born. I made sure no harm comes to you. I waited till you are of age. And now that you are a score and one, it is time. It's time for you to take this scepter of service. Return to where? What service? In due time. Everything will become clear in due time. Hi, she. Uh, she has been taken into ICU. ICU? Yes, Pastor. And we are yet to hear from the doctor. But what exactly happened? She just fell down the stairs. The devil is a liar. He came too late. No weapon fashion against us shall prosper. Amen. And any tongue that rises against us in judgment yeah. shall prosper. Make sure the fires are kept very well. Okay. Oh, doctor. Yes. Where is my wife? Oh, your wife? Your wife is okay. She has just regained consciousness and her vital organs are stable. So she's fine. Thank God. You are sure she's okay? Yeah, perfect. She's okay. Um, I've instructed the nurse to take her to the private room. Then I'll put an eye on her for two days. Then after which, she can go home. Thank God. Uh, so please, can we see her now? Yeah, if the eye is in the eye, she will take you into the room. Oh, God. They are just tired. If they decide not to talk to me anymore, I think I deserve it. No, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. What, what happened wasn't your fault. I made her so angry. Every children make their parents angry. I shouldn't have been so disrespectful. Yes, you shouldn't have. Uh, but I'm happy you feel remorseful about it. Hey, but do not blame yourself so much. What happened was just an accident. Daddy didn't come to the hospital. He came, but he has gone back to church. What about mom? How is she doing? 
The doctor said she's going to be all right. <sighs> Thank God, I am relieved. It's okay. It's okay. Should we be worried? About what? Are you really possessed? How can you ask me such a question? How do you explain what really happened today? Are you indirectly calling dad a powerless pastor? When did I say that? You just did. Were you not there when mom and dad conducted deliverance on me? Did you see me fall under any anointing? Did you hear any demon speak through me? No. So you see, if I was possessed, I would have manifested. But nothing happened, so I am clean. I don't know for you. You used to be the sweetest person that I knew. But right now, I'm not too sure. Dara. Do you think you can bring back the loving big sister that I know? The one that was very nice to everyone. And very respectful. Because right now, I don't know this person standing before me. Do you think you can do that for me? Why are you crying? Okay, my darling. Why are you crying? I am tired of everything. Don't worry. Everything will be alright, okay? Thank you, Uncle. Good. Thank you, Uncle. But we like to be left alone. Why now, my darling? I, I can't leave you alone in, in this kind of condition. I can't. I am fine. Thank you for your concern. Okay. If you say so. Uncle, mm -hmm. what is wrong with you? I think it's fever. And it's serious. Ah. And nobody is home. Dara and Grace went with Daddy to the hospital to bring mommy. Yes, I know. See, all I need right now is for you to stay with me. Just hold me tight so I can feel your warm body. I'm so cold. No. 
What you need is drugs. Let me go to the pharmacy and get you drugs. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, let me... Uncle! 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 Why are you, Roxy? I'll be gentle with you, okay? Don't, don't be doing this. Trust me. Trust me. How could you... What the hell? You want to rape me? How could you? Why are you doing this to me? Is it a crime that I have feelings for you? Why are you not considering me? Huh? Uncle, how could you? You want to rape me? I am not your uncle. You are my mommy's younger brother. That's true. But the truth is, I am not related to you in any way. I don't have any blood ties with you. What are you talking about? See. The truth is, you are not in any way related to this family. So stop parading yourself as the adult of this family. You are saying all this because you didn't make your way with me. Just wait when my mommy and my daddy comes back. See, see, stop. stop. Take your sweaty hands off me. Please, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I do not know what came over me. Please, I, I'm very sorry. Do not tell anybody about what just happened. Man. Please, I promise I will not try it again. Please. What about the part of me not being related to this family? No, I, I was just blabbing. I was just talking trash. I, I was only angry because you pushed me. But oh, please, I'm begging you. Don't let anybody know about this. It's, it's just the handwork of the devil. Because you know me. No! Leave the innocent man out of this. God has decided to expose you for the pervert that you are. Uh, yes, I know. Yeah. It's God really wants to expose me, but please, don't let your parents know about this. I I'm begging. If you tell them I'm finished, please. But you should have thought of that before trying to take advantage of me, isn't it? Hey, please, don't let anybody know. Please, please. Huh? I'm begging, please, don't tell anyone. Because, um, please. I won't tell anybody. But just know that you've lost my respect henceforth. Not fair. That's so harsh. Okay. Do not put this into your heart. Hmm? I guess she's still upset about what happened at the birthday saga. Very soon she'll come around. Hmm? So don't worry. Come, let's go inside. Okay, I was about to come into your room now. We need to talk. That's not true. That's not how it happened. So you mean something close to that happened, eh? It was the one that forced to say for me. Ah. <laughs> okay. Hey. Jesus. Oh, sister, you've, you've known me all your life now. You know how I used to treat and pamper women? Not to talk of trying to force my, my own knees. 
我给人玩呢。Hey, okay, can you stop that? How, how can you imagine? Okay, okay, you know I am stronger than you. So if I want to force myself on you and nobody is at home, did you think you can stop me? You can't. Why do you just want to twist everything? Stop. I bet you were shocked I was strong enough to push you, right? Ah. Okay. I didn't report you to your parents for them to punish you. I understand you are growing up. Yeah. Puberty age. You've started growing all this little little and shooting behind. I know this is the age whereby you 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 try to have sexual urge. Yeah, I understand. Nobody is against that. But not to the extent of you trying to force me, your uncle. It is a sacrilege, an abomination. Ah! You begged me not to tell my parents about this. And you turned around to lie against me, you bastard! How dare you! How dare you? Okay, hmm? me, your uncle bastard. Ah. You see? Did you see her? One more word from your mouth. Yeah? I will show you the beast in me. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, sister. Just, sister, you know I'm too decent for this now. I am too decent. How, how, how can I? How can I? Had it been I don't have self-control, I would have loosened up now. I can't do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Honey, please calm down. Let's look for another way to resolve this whole thing. How? What other way are we going to resolve it? No, tell me, Frank, how? Who knows how long this has been going on? How many men this girl has lured to bed? If not that my brother is a decent young man, he would have fallen for her cheap trap. And what I'm saying is that you just came back from the hospital. That don't belong you were discharged from the hospital. I think by now you should be resting instead of all this. That girl has to leave this house. Enough is enough. What? Yes, I'm losing it. She can't continue staying in this house before she inflames our daughters. Honey, what are you saying? Oga is also our daughter. Eh? No, she is not my daughter. Yes, let's not lie to ourselves. I warned you when you suggested we adopt her. But you wouldn't listen. You are very stubborn. Now, see who we brought in. A demon-possessed delinquent. Enough! Yes, you can go ahead and support her like you normally do. But... Do we know who she really is? Where she came from? The kind of demon she was exposed to before we picked her from our doorstep! Woman, I said enough! Adopted or not adopted? Okay, is still our daughter? No, she is not. She is not my daughter. That evil girl can never be my daughter. That girl is evil. I know why she did this. Because I scolded her for her bad behavior on her birthday. Can't you see it? Look, let me tell you. Is it that she leaves this house or I live with my girls? Period!
to put it. Why is she running? I need you to stop crying. I can see you are no longer afraid of me. There is nothing to be scared of. What's the worst thing you can do to me right now? Kill me. I don't care. I am not here to hurt you. Hurting me is the only thing you've done to me since I met you. Why do you keep following me around? Who really are you? I am here to help you. Help me? How? I know how you feel. Empty. Rejected. Unwanted. Alone with no family. But you have a family, and they are waiting for you. I have a family. Yes, okay, you have a family. They adore you. They are all waiting for you to come back home. If I have a family, how did I end up with your courage? I have told you before that everything you went through was preparing you for your destiny. My destiny. Yes, a glorious destiny. And now is the time. Can you take me to them? I mean, my family. That has been my task for the past 21 years now. What do you mean? Everything will be clear up to you in due time. I will take you to your family. But is there nothing you would like to take care of first? If anything happens to that girl, if anything happens to Oge, if anything should happen to my daughter, Stella, Oh! What will you do? What will you do? From the way you dot on that girl, I am inclined to believe that that girl has also bewitched you! Frank! What are you trying to do? Hit me? Alright! Hit me! Why did you stop? Hit me! Hit me, Frank! Hit me! Do you think that this has to do with Sister Wogi? Shidera, I don't know. Something is going on. I can feel it. Everything is falling apart. Why are you being so touchy, this girl? It's normal for couples to fight. Trust me, Sister Grace. Something is coming. What are you talking about? I don't know myself, but I can strongly feel it. I can feel it.
What did you do? Exactly what you asked me to do. I didn't ask you to do anything. I heard you loud and clear. You do not have to say it out. Iken has to pay for what he tried to do to you and for lying against you. What exactly did you do to him? You already know. Now follow me. Let me take you to meet your real family. I said, come with me. We tried our best, but we lost him. You lost who? No! What? No! 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 I know you have a lot of questions to ask, but very soon you will get the answers to all that your heart seeks. Come with me. Why is she dying? Huh? Where is she? Where has she gone to? She's right there, around your neck. Welcome, Princess of Yuji. The woman you said brought you here is not just human. She is the Iyoji deity. The Asian python has been worshipped in this community for centuries. She was the revered goddess of all land. Her priestesses were the most powerful and feared until many years ago. What happened? Some missionaries from the city came into our community. They said they brought us good news. They wanted us to forsake our gods and worship their own god. They said our gods were evil and powerless. The missionaries and youth set the shrine by the stream on fire. They destroyed our shrine. They desecrated the abode of the Yogi state and burned down a shrine. Such humiliation for our most revered goddess. Soon, most of the villagers embraced the god of the missionaries. Maybe the missionaries were right if she could not defend herself. That was exactly what the villagers thought. They felt Yoji was powerless, since she could not defend herself and stop them from oppressing in her territory. A goddess that cannot protect herself 
How can she protect her people? I also taught them too. But the truth is, Yoji is not powerless. You have met her before. Does she look powerless to you? Then, why didn't she fight back? Her vessel has been dissipated. Her vessel? The priestess, she was a medium through which Yoji operated. She was a mouthpiece, but she did the unthinkable and desecrated her body, making it unfit for Yoji to operate through her. Unknown to everyone, Yoji had left. What did she do? When the missionaries came, they camped here for months, going about the village, trying to convert people to their religion. They built a church. One of the missionaries had a son who visited him from time to time. He was young and vibrant. And the priestess, she was beautiful, just about your age. They met with the most uncommon circumstances, and she fell for his charm. Soon, she was head over heels in love with him. Was that the unspeakable thing she did? Fall in love? She fell in love with an enemy. His father was hair bent on destroying Iyoji. And besides, Iyoji's priestesses were to remain virgins until marriage, and they do not marry any man. The man must be chosen by Iyoji herself. The priestess defied her body with an enemy, which led to Iyoji's defeat. When the missionaries came to destroy the shrine, she tried to fight, but Iyoji had already left her, and she ran for her dear life. And what happened to her after that? Few months later, she discovered she was pregnant. What happened to her lover? It was a case of unrequited love. He was just a young boy, cut off by her beauty. He never loved her. He too deserted her. That's so sad. She died while giving birth to the baby. Oh my God, this is so heartbreaking. And the baby. That is the mystery of it all. At uh, Yoji River. What? The baby's out already. She's safe. Where is she? Yoji took her. She's 
Ты шайтан. Панты там избирается. Ваши шары сто. И я здесь ласт блой. Ма. 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 Ma Ма. 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 Hmm. Interesting story. You think this is a mess story? No, but I don't see how this thing got anything to do with me. I am here to find my family. You still don't understand. You are already with your family. I am your family. How can you be my family? Ma, my sister, the priestess of Yoji, is your mother. That's a joke, right? No, it is reality. How did you know all this when you didn't see the baby? I didn't see the baby because Yoji herself took you to a place where you'd be scattered for. I never knew where you were or how to find you, but I knew that you existed. How did you know I am that child? As soon as you walked in here, I knew. I saw Mma in you, and the glorious deity hung around your neck. I know you are still in doubt, but there is only one way to prove it to you. Come with me. You see that before there? Who's that? When my sister died, I was left alone in this compound because her parents had died many years ago. Soon after, I got married. I moved to my husband's house. But I would always return here every seven market days to look after the shrine. This staff can only be lifted by the priestess of Yuji. Let me show you. Now go and try it. Huh? Yes, go. I see it all now. 
I was taken to a pastor's house. Pastor? You mean you grew up in a pastor's house? Yes. Why would Eoji take you to an enemy's house? The ways of the gods is not the ways of man. Frank, you are unbelievable. You mean my brother died and all you care about is that evil girl? Honey, this is so unfair. I am sad that your brother died. He is also my brother-in-law. But our daughter has been missing for some days now and you don't even care about it. And why should I care about someone who killed my brother? That is ridiculous, mom. Yes. She killed him. And that is why she has refused to return to this house. Mom! Uncle Kim was killed by a snake bite. How can you make such an accusation about your own daughter? A snake can never be my daughter. God forbid I give birth to such an evil child. Stella! Not now. Why? Not here. Why? Because you don't want them to know the truth, huh? What truth? That girl is not your sister. What are you saying, Mom? Stella, you have lost it. You have totally gone out of control. Ken is dead. Me too. But how did Snake get into this house? Despite all the regular communication, this is not ordinary. But I'm beginning to think that Mom is right. You think Oge had a hand in this? Why did she run and she has refused to come back? Eh? If Dad and Mom really gave birth to her, so who's to tell where she really came from? Hmm. This is serious, sir. This is serious. Eh?
president of Iyoji. So what I heard is true. Iyoji is back. She never left you. Huh? She only waited for the right time to manifest herself again. After the missionaries brought in their girls. And she waited all these years. Who will worship her again? After she was defeated by the missionaries' god. Who will worship her goddess that have lost all her powers? You want to what me. is it? Who, eh? We are sorry, goddess. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please, we are sorry, I'm sorry. Because I have spoken so I'm stupidly. Very, very sorry. Please, sorry. we are sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, do not have Surely, there is a penalty for speaking ill of the mother goddess. Do you see what you cause? Every time your mouth, this is your stupid mouth to be whining. See what you cause? Eh? Let me tell you, it's only you that will carry this conflict. That's how it is. This village, not in the not in the big yard. Ebuka, are you seeing this thing? Ah, ah, you know this is our village. We don't have anything. I suggest we go and sell this thing. Yeah, we do. Huh? We do. Huh? Hope you are in this village. I am in this village eh? Uh -huh. It's not a good idea to steal from you the property. Ah, what, 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 are you, what are you telling me? Nothing! She would, she, nothing. There is nothing that, nothing will happen. Ah, you just lost all her powers. So I suggest we carry this thing to go and sell it. You just lost all her powers. You say? Ebuka. Give me. I don't want you. Give me. Ebuka. Give me. Who that good? Who that? from the shrine of Yoji. Do you know the gravity of what you brought upon yourselves? Please, <laughs> have mercy on us. Please. Ah! I do it. Have mercy on what? Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Wait, wait, let me ask you. Do you think we are fools? Eh? See, let me tell you. Inyoji does not exist. So you cannot just come here and deceive our people. It is so unfortunate that you have decided to make yourselves a scapegoat. Yoji will start from you too to prove to people that she is not powerless. Girl, mother, goddess. My, my loved daughter, I am um, well pleased. You have started good work. But there is one more thing I need you to do. I need you to pay a visit to Pastor Frank. I am not done with him and his family yet.
welcome, my dear sisters. It is such a privilege to serve the great mother goddess. Pastor Frank, when were they seeing us? Last night, after our dinner. We had our normal night prayers and they retired to bed. So this early morning, they were supposed to come down for breakfast as usual, but they didn't. My wife went upstairs to check on them and they were nowhere to be found. Was there any false entry? No. Everything in their room are still intact. Even their phones. <laughs> that will be all for now. Pastor Frank, I want to assure you that I and my team will do everything within our power to bring your guests back. Please do. First, it was my eldest daughter. Now, two younger ones. It is strange. Please, officer, help us. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Let us take our leave now. <laughs> Honey. Honey, this is not time for crying. <laughs> A lot has been happening of recent. <laughs> I think it's time for us to seek God's face. We need to go into prayers. <laughs> I need my girls back. Please, princess of UOG, please have mercy on my friend. Don't let her die, please. Be merciful on her, please. Please have mercy. Please. Stop. EOG is angry. She is a mother that fed her people from the bounties of her breast. But what did you do in return? You spat on her face, embraced a foreign god, and secreted her shrine. You said unprintable words against her. Some of you even have the God to steal from her shrine. For years, she waited in silence, waiting for her people to return to her. But you all mistook her silence for weak. EOG is not weak. She is back in her full glory. She is back to take that which belongs to her and to meet justice on the land. There is nothing I can do about her. Take her home. Hey! Sorry. We are sorry now. Please. Please have mercy on her now. Please. Please have mercy on her. Please.
I just arrived at my place of primary assignment. Don't worry, I'll call you when I settle in. Love you too. Whew. This is a difficult case, as we do not have any lead to go. And we are trying our best. Trying your best to say. You mean you are trying your best? It's been whole two months. Two months. And they have not been found. And you're seated here telling me you are trying your best. <laughs> Only God knows if they are still alive. Honey, it was such a big mistake involving the police. Following the track record of incompetence. We do respect, madam. It is so easy to put the blames on police. Have you looked at yourself first? If you are a great mother with your three children go missing under your nose. For incompetence. It is so easy to put the blames on police. Um, <laughs> officer, I'm so sorry. My wife is just... I understand what you're going through. But your bad image against the police is not helping matters. We assure you that we're going to try our possible best to find your daughters. Thank you so much, officer. Your efforts is really appreciated. Repent from your evil ways. Repent from your wicked ways. And turn from your idols and mama gods. For the Bible says, Thou shalt not serve any other gods apart from the one true living God. The Bible says, 
Thou shalt not bow down to any crafted image on earth and in heaven. How long are you going to remain in darkness, my people? Jesus is calling you. For God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten Son. Whosoever that believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Repent! Repent! What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Repent! Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you to his marvelous light. Come to him now and he shall receive you. He is going to embrace you. Repent! For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent now. Tomorrow might be too late. Repent! Jesus is calling you. Repent! Repent! Come out from darkness. Come and embrace light. Jesus is calling you. Come to his marvelous light and he's ready to accept you. Repent! Who are you? We are the daughter of the mother goddess, Yoji. The light shall enter into the darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. I cast a fine Shut them out! We have come with a message for you. A message? From who? From Yoji. You have 24 hours to pack your things and leave this village. Go back to where you came from and never return. You have no place here. You lie! The head is of the Lord and fullness thereof. You never the soul of my fish shall touch. I shall dominate. I see. It is in the habit of your God and his adherents to forcefully take what does not belong to them. Leave and never return. You have been warned. We must not allow him to stay in this village. He is a threat to us and to EOG. If we do not do something, history will repeat itself. It seems he has a strong force backing him up. So, what do we do? We reinforce. What? Chike, are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, Pastor. Pastor, that village happened to be my place of primary assignment. I was shocked when I saw them. This can't be true. God, where did we go wrong? I can't believe you're asking this question. But in case you have forgotten where we have gone wrong, I will remind you. We went wrong when we brought in a total stranger into our home. A child we knew nothing of our background. A devil, demon reincarnate. And now she has taken our children away. Frank, if anything happens to our children, I will come to you by force. I promise you that. You are doing very well. Your mother will be very proud of you. Before she died, she said that you would restore Iyoji in her full place. And look at you doing a great job. But I know that threatens us work. They need to be sent out of this village. No, Christmas of Iyoji. Time has passed. It is Time for us to respect people's choices for a peaceful coexistence. Tuko Kiki Abiyama created us differently. Different choices, beliefs, and languages. So whatever medium anyone choose to serve their creator should be respected. But they never 
never respected the choices of our people when they ravaged this community and burned down our shrine. They forced their religion on our people for years. Our gods were neglected. I know. But should history repeat itself? For how long will this religious feud continue? All I am saying is that it is possible for people with different beliefs to live peacefully together. There would always be people who are adherent to our traditional beliefs, just like there will be people who uphold other beliefs. Iyoji would always have our worshippers. There are better ways to persuade people to embrace our beliefs. Violence. It's not the option. But they started it. They are the one who put the wheel in motion. It is time for them to dance to their tune. Do not trade that path, priestess. Because the end will not be funny. You are the officer from the state command. You are advised to come out there quickly and don't cause any trouble. Okay. Grace, Chidara, what are you guys doing here? How did you get here? What happened to you girls? Too many questions we do not have answers to. Okay. Look at me very well. I am your father. You are not my father. Now leave and never return. I will not step a foot out of this place unless I go with my girls. You have no girls. Not anymore. Now leave before I call down the rot of EOG on you. Franco Corrie? Do you know him? Yes. He was the young man I told you about. The pastor's son that my sister fell in love with. What? Who are you? Do you remember the young girl that you got pregnant when you came to this community with your father and some missionaries? 21 years ago. Ma. Oh, you remember? Are you? No. I am her younger sister. Ned. Exactly. The only crime my sister committed was to fall in love with you. You left her. You deserted her. You humiliated my sister and left her when she needed you the most. Please, Nerdy, forgive my wrongdoing. I was a young man, naive and confused. I just got an admission into the university. I was never ready for marriage. I had to leave. But you knew she was pregnant for you, didn't you? I only knew about it when I visited my father months later. Yes, you visited, but you didn't want her to know about it. Sister, are you aware that Frank is in the village? Frank, where did you see him? I just saw him and his father right now. I think he's going back to the city today. What? <laughs> Take it easy, yo. Mm.
Frank. What are you doing here? You are pregnant. Frank, you came back to the village without even letting me know. And now you are leaving. Ma, it's a matter of urgency. What could be so urgent that you couldn't come to see me? Ma, I had everything that happened. I'm totally sorry. Maybe it is God's own way of letting you know the foolishness of serving all these man-made gods. Foolishness? Ma, I know you and I made a mistake. Mistake? Frank, you told me you loved me. Did I? What? Ma, you and I know that we can't be together. We represent two opposites, two different beliefs. And you are pregnant. What do you want me to do? It's your child. What? You're responsible for this pregnancy. What are you talking about? That can't be possible. You are the first and only man I've ever been with. Ma, you have to do something about this. I'm not ready to be a father now, please. So what do you want me to do? Get rid of it. Are you mad? It's too late. Why are you just letting me know? Why did you tell me when you found out about this? Can you listen to yourself? Frank, he disappeared on me. Left me all alone when I needed you most by my side. See, Ma, let me tell you something. I can't do this. I have a whole life ahead of me. As you can see, I'm traveling. Just look for a way and get rid of it, please. Frank! 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 Hi! went into forced labor, same day you left. And she died after delivering her baby. Oh my God. And the baby? She, 
is the product of that union. What? It all makes sense now, right? Where else could Yodi have taken her to if not her father's house? What do you mean? Yodi, the mother goddess, brought her to your doorstep. Indeed, the ways of the gods are not the ways of man. Oge grew up in her father's house through a mysterious arrangement. I knew it. I knew it. From the very first day this girl set her foot in the house. I knew she was an evil child. And now she has polluted my children. Shut up, man. Before I make you... Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. My beautiful children. Come back home with daddy. You don't belong here. We are not going anywhere. This is where we belong. If either you join us or you leave us, you let them right. Now we leave. <laughs> I don't care what you do. I don't care how you want to do it. All I want is my girls to come out of that hell of a place. Oge can rot there for all I care. Just listen to yourself. Just listen to the kind of kind of words that is coming out from your mouth. You are a mother. Not just a mother. The wife of a pastor. For crying out like people see you as their role model. Okay. It's my daughter as well. I don't care. I don't care anymore because she got us into this mess. In fact, you got us all into this rubbish. What is it? Excuse me. I want you. I want you 21 years ago, but you wouldn't listen. Look at it. Look at where we are now. Excuse me, what were you thinking when you were flourishing with the python goddess? Stella, I was young. You were young. That's always the excuse. Yes, I was young. Look, let me tell you, Frank, you put this wheel in motion. Fix it. Um, Stella. Sweetheart, I know I was wrong. It was never intentional. But then, we cannot continue to apportion blame on each other. What we need now is God's intervention. I cannot do it alone. I, Pastor Frank, need Christ in this situation. Remember, when two or three are gathered. Who is there in our midst? Amen. Look, Frank, I am not living here without my girls. Oh no, the river dane. 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 Let 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 the river dane. Come 
Mother Goddess, please come to us. We need you now. Greetings, great Mother Goddess. There's one thing that has to be done. I have to let your sisters go. What? They have to go. They don't belong here. I only took them from your father just to punish him for what he did to my people. To my shrine and to my priestess. But now it's time for them to go. They don't belong here. EOG does not take what does not belong to her. They have to go. They have to go. Why didn't you come back with your sisters? I am staying. Why? My decision. Your decision is unacceptable. You see, that's the problem. Why does your religion not accept those rights to choose their paths? You go about forcing your belief on people with an internal damnation if they do not accept. Those who do not accept automatically become your enemy. Why? Because you think you are superior or you are the only way to reach God. Years ago, when people came down to this village and burned down shrines, disregarded the customs and traditions of this land and said because we are evil. Even to now, you still burn down people's place of worship. But when sin is done to your churches, you cry foul. It is high time we started respecting people's choice of worship. It's okay. Since you have made your decision, I will respect it. But please, do not ask me not to keep in touch because you are still my daughter and I will continue to pray for you. Me too. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, once again, we hand over our daughter and sister, Miss Oge, into your able hands. Bring her back to us in good health. And also, please have her in your knowledge and in your truth. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, Sister Oge, why did you change your mind? Let's just say I wasn't given a chance to choose. I grew up in a pastor's house where attending to church is mandatory, and I then a bizarre arrangement. I was taken to a remote village where I became a priestess just because my mother was one, and her offspring would have to succeed her. In all this, no one considered what I wanted for myself. So, Miss Obe Chukukamwa, what have you chosen for yourself? I want to live a free life, serve God and humanity without being weighed down by religion. Mm. I don't know what it is, but that's a good start. I think you have to take it off from there. And what about Iyoji? Iyoji can take care of herself. I believe there will be those who will remain loyal to her. She better be. Because none of my girls will go back there. Never again. And I, I want to go back to school. 
mom, dad, I've given my life to Christ. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. That, this is a good news. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.